Well, it's been hailed as a changing of the guards without being called such. The West Indies Cricket Board announced a squad to participate in the ICC Women's World Cup next month in England. Veterans like TNT Divas players Whitney Cooper and Stacey Ann King, Guyanese Tremaine Smart and the Barbadian Shakoina Quintine were all noticeably absent. Asir Mohammed spoke to the chairman of selectors Courtney Brown and the two Trinbegonian newbies. Some West Indies cricket supporters have called it baptism by fire and drew a parallel to Jason Holder's appointment as captain without experience. But Courtney Brown disagrees and believes that the uncapped players will complement the veterans like Marissa Aguilera, Anissa Mohammed, and Stefani Taylor. When, when, you look at, when you look at the composition of the team and uh, the, the, the girls that we're bringing into the squad, they actually complement the other, the other players that are there. So um, I would say that we, we are not going to we're not going to lose much by bringing in new players because we have a, a we have loads of experience within the team. One of the newcomers to the regional team hails from East Trinidad, the village of Talparo. Renice Boyce is still overwhelmed at her selection, which she says came as a result of solid performances in the latter stages of the WICB Women's Regional Super 50 tournament. She has also increased preparations to help cement her place on the regional team. All I want is the opportunity to showcase my talents, and when I do so, I just want to cement my spot on the team. This is at a different level of cricket, and this one is for the region. So, yeah, I do work on fitness and more batting skill, different techniques, etc. After knocking on the regional team's door for years, 2017 is the year it finally opened for Felicia Jamie Walters. Diminutive in stature and meek in manners, she packs a punch with the bat and is quite nifty with the ball. Reminiscent of Shivnarain Chandapal, dropping anchor is part of her game as an opener, who sometimes bat through to the end. She shared her feelings on learning she was selected into the regional women's World Cup squad. I was very joyful and excited when I heard of the news because I've been working really, really hard for the past couple of weeks, also months leading up to this. Remaining humble and determined, her family was more excited about the news as she gets ready to showcase her skill on some unsuspecting teams at the World Cup. They were very excited. They, they, were, they weren't even expecting this news, but when they heard this news, they was like joyful, more, even more joyful than me because I still trying to adapt with it. Basically good scores and take my form into this World Cup. These two are just carrying on a trend of locals making the step up to the international arena while representing the region with distinction. Nasira Mohammed, C Sports.